Hi beautiful people, I hope so you are fine. As we already use that create react app in uh, for creating our uh, new react app. Um, but we have noticed that uh, when we start our uh, react app it takes a lot of time. And I think uh, uh, this is the right time that we need to move on uh, to the new technology so that we can uh, make our development faster. So we have uh, the wheat nowadays. Uh, which is very good in action so for example if you are working on a website and uh, and you are working on your app uh, since a long time and uh, now you want to make your app a bit faster uh, with using wait and now you are getting worried that how you can uh, again develop your app with the wait so we can migrate it from uh, create react app to the wait so we have some simple steps so we have to follow this and then we can convert our uh, old website into the wheat. So this is uh, our uh, a dummy website which is created in the create react app and we will convert this app uh, into the wheat. So let's get started. So this app uh, uh, recently is running uh, on our browser. First of all we need to close it because uh, we cannot do it while running process uh, we need to follow some simple steps uh, to migrate our react create react app into the bit so we have to come here and we need to uh, delete our react scripts from here and we need to delete these scripts from here because we will use bit so we can edit it here because we will uh, install it later so we can delete for now we will write it wait uh, we have to write one more scripts here for preview let's serve and wait preview okay so this uh, uh, first step is completed so uh, when we will npm i so Re react scripts will be deleted automatically let's save it first so react scripts are deleted now we have to uh, install new scripts here npm i at the rate white js plugin plugin react and we have to add a new script but wait it's wait plugin SVGR and wait itself. It will take some time. Uh, so these packages are installed. Now we have to create a new file in the root directory, which name is wait config dot js if you are using typescript so you need to write a ts file but if you are using js in the react so you need to create dot js file so we have created this so we have to add a configuration uh, which is uh, usable uh, for converting wheat because now we are not using uh, the course react scripts here so i will give you the link of the file and or I will paste it in the description so we need this file here so this configuration we will add in, in our bit config file so this is step 3 after doing so we have uh, to go to the next step uh, we have our index.html file in our create react app but we need to move this file outside uh, of the public folder 
in and we have to keep it in our root folder so we will just drag it outside of the public folder okay we will do it okay and we have to update some uh, some configurations here like we have the public url here but uh, as we know that uh, this file is not in the public now so we have to delete all the public uh, modifiers from here so we can use this we just need to we have to delete we have to delete and person public url from here so we have done it in our next uh, next step we have to add a script here type will be module and in source we will give our index.js file uh, which is in which is this this is our main index.js file we will give a link from here it is included in source and index.jss so this has been done before running we will just run npm i so that we don't skip any uh, package so it is done it will not work but we can uh, try running it npm run start and let's see what it's whether it will be done yeah this is the main thing i was just talking about because i know it will not run a and in our next step we have to convert all js files into the jsx so uh, let's let's try to change it from js and jsx now jsx and this one this one I know it is uh, it is really time taking process but uh, if we start doing it we will reach our to our results so this is done uh, we need to change in our this file also so we have now JSX and let's see is it work now I, sh I hope so it must work let's clear the console and and run start I think everything is good let's see either if it's working or not oh that's really good I think it's working and yeah we do not have any error in in our console so now we are running with it so look our website is running on beat now because its speed is quite better than our create react tab let's uh, test this speed again npm run start oh that is a damn faster wow that's great i hope so you like this video if you really like you can consider subscribe because uh, we bring some bug fix uh, videos uh, in our channel thank you so much for your attention